morning, Santa Clarita. Welcome to SCV Today. I'm Tammy Edwards. And I'm Dave Caldwell. The show is being brought to you by Helm Vision Center. We always appreciate that. Uh, and we had a pretty busy weekend, at least some people did. <laughs> I didn't. You didn't have a busy weekend. I didn't weekend. have a busy weekend at all. I, I just, I didn't do anything this weekend. Nothing. Nothing. I had to rest because Vine to Wine is coming up on Saturday, and so you got to get prepared. I have to get prepared. <laughs> I have to get in my game. Did you really just like? I seriously, I was a house. lump on the couch all weekend. But I watched a lot of games. I watched uh, movies. I watched uh, Sports Center. It was awesome. Da -da -da, it was awesome. Da -da -da. Oh man, it was good stuff. You know, Sports Center used to be awesome, Very and nice. I would be like real into it. Yeah. But by the twentieth time they've played it in a row, it's like I could be doing this the sports cast. I'm yeah. like, well. Then it need, drives me crazy. You need more of a life. They, they no, they need more. No, they need more content. They just like replay it over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah but it was cool. But there were some good things happening sports-wise that affected Santa Clarita people. I mean, big time stuff. And and uh -huh. and let's start with Allison Lee. Okay. Okay. So this is a Valencia High School senior, who uh, no, she just graduated. Excuse graduated. me. She just graduated. Made it to the semifinals of the 2013 U.S. Amateur Golf Championship. Good and, for her. Um, That's so fantastic. She lost, unfortunately, in the semifinals to Emma Talley, who ended up winning it uh, out of uh, Kentucky, but uh, lost on the 18th hole. But what, she's 18, 19 years old? Right, right. She, 2012, last year, she was a runner-up at the U.S. Girls Championship. Mm -hmm. So this girl has got it going on. Yeah. This is really exciting. That's this is fantastic. someone who's going to be Good for her. doing very well. She's going on to UCLA, and so that's that was really cool. That's awesome. And another Valencia graduate, also known as my boyfriend, uh, did very well this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Which boyfriend are we talking about? <laughs> There's been so. Oh, Shane! Right, Shane Vereen. Right, right. <laughs> no, this he was cool. He touchdown. He was awesome on Friday. Yeah, and what pictures? Look at this. We'll show these pictures right now um, of him catching the touchdown pass. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's funny because you. When you came in this morning, you said, how about my boy? He got a touchdown. I said, wait, no, he didn't. But I, was I, was ready, just, I was ready to throw it out. I'm like, oh, yes, he yes, did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come you on, were right. sportscaster. Yeah, no, oh, you got me. Because I, what I did is I looked at his stats for running. And mm -hmm. so I only ran the ball three times for 12 yards. And I thought, oh, okay. All right, well, that's preseason. Mm -hmm. But then he caught a pass. Yeah. And that's where he's really effective, catching Tom Brady's passes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went, yes, you did say it. I said passes. Okay, so I have a new obsession. All right. Ping. Other than Shane Vereen? Yeah, I just joke about that. I no, know. ping pong. Oh, it's a great sport. I have never played ping pong before in my life, but my, my grandparents always had a table set up at their house, and we would kind of play around when we were little, but I never really actually played. So the Peters, some fr friends of ours, uh, Gary and Sherry Peters, they have a ping pong party every year. And I mean, like, it's, it's legit. I mean, you've got... Everyone plays each other. I mean, it's it's a battle. So I go, Navi never played. I lost in the first round. Mm -hmm. That will never happen again, because I I am getting a ping pong table, and I will next year I will dominate. But it was so much fun. They were like, I mean, and these people. I mean, there's trophies and. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was so much fun and great host. The Peter ping pong is a blast, and it, and um, I'll, I will say this: it is great hand-eye coordination practice. So mm -hmm. Billy should just dominate. Ping pong. Probably. We did that years ago, and Chris and I would have these battles, epic battles of mm -hmm. ping pong in our, in our living room. Gloria would like this because we didn't have furniture, so we put a ping pong table in the living room. And mm -hmm. so we'd go in there and just play ping pong all night long. It was a blast. Why would Gloria like that? Because Gloria likes everything. She just, <laughs> she, she likes the competition. <laughs> Gloria and Gloria, and look, here's the thing. Look at Gloria's smile. That is the best smile in Santa Clarita. And I it is I on agree. display all the time. She is yeah. one of the happiest people I know. And Always it's, smiling. You just get around Gloria and you, look, just watch. Just, <laughs> it's so let's, just, let's just let her smile for a second and we'll all be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Gloria. <laughs> She's like, okay, get the camera off me. <laughs> and I don't know if it's real or if it's fake because she is married to Bruce, of course. So we don't know if she's having to put on a fault. There you go. That yeah. a girl. Yeah. Good job. She's so cute. I yeah. love her. And um, the missing teen was found that the, the Amber Alert had gone out on. And what an interesting series of days. And the week that, that Amber Alert was, and that, that went off on your phone. Mm -hmm. It didn't go off on mine, but it went off on just about everybody's phone. It went off on phone. mine twice. That, what do you think about that? 
I don't have any problem with it. If it's my child missing, I want as many people to know as quickly as possible. So I'm with you. I agree with that. But there are some people that were very irritated by the whole thing, which I think, you know what, the guys, get over The government has it. my phone number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, darling, your phone company has your <laughs> yeah, exactly. phone number. <laughs> exactly. I'd have no problem with it at no. all. And, and uh, you know, I'm glad that she's safe. The young lady is safe, obviously. Yeah, We're they haven't have come out and said what had exactly transpired with her, and I'm I'm assuming it probably wasn't great stuff, but I'm I'm praying that maybe right. she got away unscathed. I mean, other than the fact of losing her mother and her brother. And right. Well, she's gone through some very traumatic <sighs> stuff, and who knows what she's Crazy. experienced, what she saw, what she witnessed. I don't know how close she was to the man that took her when his life ended, mm -hmm. but um, I'm glad that it had a good ending for her. Mm -hmm. Obviously, and and I think this Amber Alert, I think this is a really good idea. I think it, uh, it, I, I just like it. I it like didn't it did that bother any of you that that Amber Alert? No, no. 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 It was a good thing. A yeah. good it's thing, a good right? Thing. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a good thing. Do you Absolutely. feel? Do you feel? Do you feel? I mean, you you brought it up, but I mean, I heard this comment. Do you feel that the government or others, Big Brother, is more intrusive in your life? That. Because of that? Yeah, with, with something like this. Is this an example of that? I don't think so at all. Yeah. I think this is something for public safety. Yeah. Right. And, and I agree. I, I think that more and more people uh, should get involved in something like this. Right. Yeah. So no, I agree. Like, like Pam says, for my child, I want everybody to know the same right. way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's, it, was, it was really good. I was really happy about that. I'm really glad about that. Yeah. So... That's it. I'm ready to take on the week. Well, we've got a really good show in front of us here today. You saw all the people that are here. Ray Tippett from Hope. Circle of Hope is on. We're going to talk Vine to Wine from Hope. <laughs> it's the I was, Pope of Hope. I was thinking Pope of Hope. and I, I, all, I of hope. all that came out was Hope. You might not get your taste in this year. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to get my taste in. I'm telling you right now, Ray. Yeah. I'm going to get it. <laughs> One day, Ray's going to be at the grocery store, and someone's going to like come up to him and like just like fall to their knees. <laughs> <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have I, I have not drank enough wine. <laughs> I heard you're the Pope of Hope. We're not doing communion either. Right? <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just to raise right, let's go ahead and pan it over to the right if we can, because Chuck Morris is here. Vietnam Wall is going to be in Santa Clarita Valley. It is one of the most powerful moments you will spend in front of a monument. Truthfully, yeah. I've been the one in Washington, D.C., and we're going to talk about that, and that's going to be a, a eye-opening thing. Uh, so much is going to happen around that as well. Gloria Mercado Fortine is to her right as well, and in the background... To, to his right. To, his, to my right, actually. Okay. In the background, yeah, there's Bill Miranda. Uh, they're going to be on to talk about the uh, Latino Chamber Gala that's yes. coming up. Gala or gala? I gala. say gala. gala. He says gala. <laughs> yeah, I was going to tomato, it's tomato. tomato. It's a man, tomato, tomato. It's a man woman yeah. thing. <laughs> it, and good. in the background, but it won't be for very long, Chikaya Misamu. There he is Are waving. You? Oh, my gosh. Chikaya, we've got we've got a new challenge. Chikaya is very quiet today. It's kind of making me a little nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous today with this he, silence. I have to be quiet before the storm. Have you, oh, okay. Chikaya, have you had your spark this morning? Yes, I did. There you go. There hey, you go. Chikaya, you want to know what Gloria did last week? No. She went to Marine. She went to <laughs> oh, she told me. She told to me. Marine boot camp. That's Isn't that amazing. We got a lot of Marines in the house today. Outstanding. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be good stuff. It's going to be good stuff. Hoorah. She's into it. Super oh, fire, right? Awesome. All right. So when we come back, we are going to have the Pope of Hope. Ray Tippett will join us from Circle of Hope. Living without glasses has been wonderful. I've noticed right away, right when I, the next couple of days, the sky seemed bluer. I had the procedure because my husband came to Dr. Helm for cataract surgery, and he was really pleased with the results. I was looking for somebody that had a reputation, um, somebody locally. Through the whole procedure, he talked to me through it and told me exactly what was happening and what he was doing, and he just has excellent bedside manner. If you're thinking about having laser vision correction, let me help you decide if it's right for you. We at Helm Vision Group believe in personal care and quality results. Come and see the difference. For the best laser vision correction technology, Helm Vision Group on Turney Road in Valencia. Fly, jump, twist, and flip inside Santa Clarita's premier indoor trampoline fun center. Sky High Sports features 360 degrees of trampoline floors and walls that's fun for kids and the kid at heart. 
bounce off the walls inside our designated kid zone, dive into a sea of foam, or knock your opponents off their feet in a game of trampoline dodgeball. Sky High Sports is ideal for birthday parties and group events. Check us out online for special offers and discounts. Sky High Sports, now open on the old road in Valencia. My life really just started spinning out of control. I was a blackout drinker and there's a lot of her young life that I don't remember because I wasn't there. I was on the verge of losing everything, but I, I've lost many friendships and relationships and jobs and respect. I could never get enough to take away the, the agony and the depression. You think that it's just the kid on the street or the bum, but it's really the people in professions that are very high, high stress. There, there's really no face to addiction or alcohol. Anybody can get the disease. I mean, it doesn't discriminate. It is so hard to keep track of the number of um, people who have um, been diverted onto the right path by their contact with action. The people we deal with are great people. They're just making bad choices. So if we can help people make better choices, everybody wins. Welcome back to SCV Today. Luke, go in tight, buddy boy. I want, to see, I want you to go into my lapel pen. We've got uh, something special going on here. This is the lapel pen for the Circle of Hope, right? That's and, right. And uh, Ray Tippett is with us. That's and right. And so you have, you have adorned me. I have. I have adorned you. One of the things that we're, we're doing this year is um, we've got a new program. It's called the Inner Circle. And so we're kicking it off. It's a big kickoff uh, at the Vine to Wine. And basically it's a program, it's a monthly program that um, it's, a, it's a giving program. And, and the idea behind it is, is that you don't have to give hundreds and hundreds of dollars. You can give $10 a month. So it's $120 a year. And that's going to make a huge difference in, in the lives of our, our clients. And so the idea has become um, that if you give a little, it goes a long way. And if a lot of people give a little, it's, uh, it's a lot. So, so in, those, in that regard, we've, we've got that program going. So everyone that signs up for the Inner Circle, it's just $10. Uh, if you want to go to uh, $25 or $75 or $100, you get all sorts of different things that go along with that. But Tammy's got the, uh, the, the $10 gift, uh, and Logic's uh, Federal Credit Union is our sponsor this year at Vine to Wine. And so it's just a, it's a way you'll be able to get this cool little bag that you can, I guess, stick in the refrigerator or freezer, mm -hmm. and it keeps your, and then you take your bottle of Lucy wine that everybody's getting at our Vine to Wine, and you pop it in there like that, and now you've got a little cold bottle of wine that what you can take off and, and have a good, a good time. That is a great idea. So, so anyway, we're trying to do, we're trying to give little fun giveaways with it as well as trying to have people wear our pins and uh, just promote uh, the, the Circle of Hope and, mm -hmm. and what we're doing out there. Last year, you had close to 1,000 people. I want to say it was like six, seven. We had, we had about 630 people. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. and, but this year, you are shooting for 1,000. Well, and, we are. And it was one of the best events of the year last year. It was so well attended, and so many people were talking about it afterward. Right. And this year, looking for more people, and you're going to have it at, at a new venue. Right. We're going to have it at uh, California Institute of the Arts, which uh, is very exciting for us because those that attended last year um, the size of the venue has tripled. So if you can think of the number, we've got over 53 wine tables alone, and uh, we've got almost close to 20 um, uh, restaurants that are coming in, uh, along with nine or 10 different uh, dessert uh, bakeries nice. that are gonna be there. And I tell you what, we have the Mohafizi Beer Garden, Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's really going to be a lot of fun, and of course, uh, we are doing the um, the 1853 uh, King Pedro, uh, the fifth, and uh, a port, and it's going to be really a fun. That'll be a fun thing, and for those port lovers, I think they'll really enjoy that experience. You're, you're selling that for for a hundred dollars uh, for a hundred dollars a sip. Or an I, ounce. That, I shouldn't say a sip, an that, ounce. And that is definitely worth it. That is so worth it because you don't get a chance 
to do this. Yeah. Last year when we had the wine that was bottled in 1863, right. we were very fortunate you opened it up on our show last right. year. It was, a, it was a big moment for us. Right. And uh, to taste that, it was just an amazing thing just to be knowing you're tasting something that came from 1863. Well, and, and the reason why, and, and we're not disking you this year, you guys, the reason why we're not opening the 1853 is because it's a port. The other was a Madeira, and it needed about uh, seven to ten days to breathe. Right, yeah. Because, you know, when you're that old, <laughs> you haven't taken a breath in a long time, <laughs> you need a little air. Yeah. <laughs> um, but with the, with the port, wow. uh, it's, uh, I tell you what, it's, it's going to be opened right there, and uh, um, it's going to be phenomenal. So, and we have a lot of port drinkers. And if you can, you know, it was 167 or so years old. Uh, it's been in the cast uh, since uh, I think 19 or almost 2000. So I mean, it's still in its its uh, original state. So it should wow. be good. Ray, I want to touch base on something real quick for those that have not seen you yet on the show. Tell us a little bit about what Circle of Hope is sure. and what, what you sure. provide to the community. Yeah, in Circle of Hope. Um, we are a breast cancer organization that we provide financial, emotional, and educational assistance um, for individuals that are diagnosed with breast cancer in the Santa Clarita Valley. And so um, you either have to live, work or your doctor has to be in Santa Clarita uh, for you to get the services of, uh, and again, it's financial. We pay for uh, chemotherapy treatments. We pay for radiation treatments. We pay for lumpectomies. We pay for mastectomies and double mastectomies uh, and, and, and so on, medications. And it all has to do with the, the treatment from breast cancer. And not only that, is uh, we also work with insurance companies. So. Uh, if you're underinsured, uh, we're able to pick up and pay your COBRA premium. Uh, we're able to, to assist you during your, your treatment. So essentially, uh, we try to cover a full gamut of, of things uh, because obviously when you're going through breast cancer or any cancer, I mean, it it's, it's doesn't matter what cancer, it's expensive. And it's something that we really feel that we want you to really concentrate on your treatment and getting better and not your debt. And I think that's, you know, ultimately we kid and we joke and we have fun with, with these things and with our events that we come up. And you guys are uh, so supportive of, of the Circle of Hope. And we can't thank you enough for us to be able to get the word out. And it's just one of those things that um, it all comes back to we're helping people within our community. And I think that's the biggest thing. 100% of our proceeds uh, stay right here in the Santa Clarita Valley. I think that's another big thing. Because, and let's touch on this. Mm -hmm. When you say proceeds, on every dollar, what's the percentage that goes back into? It's right around 93%. 93%. It's wow. Right around 93%. Anyone that's been, and Gloria, you've been involved with, with nonprofits, 93% is mm -hmm. an astronomical number. Right. So that means all the overhead is only costing 7%. 7%. So, and the nice thing is, we don't, you know, none of our staff is paid. I don't know if that's a nice thing or not, but none of our <laughs> staff is paid. Uh, we all volunteer. And um, so, again, that keeps those costs down. So nothing really other than just the uh, overhead on, on our rent. And you know, keeping the phones on and the internet up, mm -hmm. really, uh, that's you know. And anyone special. can come to the support groups. Absolutely, we have support groups the last Tuesday of, of every month, mm -hmm. and um, it doesn't matter what kind of cancer you have, everyone can come to those support groups. It starts at seven awesome. o'clock in the evening, and we have all sorts of individuals um, with all sorts of different cancers. And I, I have to tell you guys this because I think this is really, really important for the community to hear. And this is something that Tammy's been very instrumental in and been, been pushing forward because Tammy does sit on our board of directors. And we are in the process of actually um, going to expand the services of the Circle of Hope. Really? We are going to not only expand in breast, can well, breast cancer, we're going to go to ovarian cancer. We're going to go to... Um, um, cervical cancer, cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got testicular cancer, prostate, prostate cancer, cancer, colon cancer, wow. and then any of the um, uh, cancers that uh, may be uh, applied to the, um, you know, to some of those, those uh, areas of 
Yeah, um, it's going to be phenomenal. You know, but it, so it, it's, it, it really is going to be very, very mm -hmm. exciting. Last um, year you had, you had three princesses. Yes. Uh, one of which was, uh, I think, Linda, who, mm -hmm. who talked to us, and she became so emotional, and she's been on the program as, as well. Right. And she was crying, talking about what you did for her, because all of her avenues were shut down. Her insurance company, the government, everybody denied her. She heard about Circle of Hope. She goes to you. She is alive today because of that. Sure. Well, you know what? It's really nice. I mean, it's really funny because the Circle of Hope doesn't receive any sort of um, state or federal funding. So I always say that's a curse and a blessing simultaneously. It's a blessing in the sense that we can act very quickly. I mean, we can turn a client around within three days if we need to. In fact, I turned a client around in 24 hours um, where she came into my office uh, two weeks ago, um, had a lump, had a diagnosis, uh, needed surgery right away, and um, we, we just made it happen. And that was, she was in the surgery uh, two days later um, going through this thing. And it's a good thing. I found out later on that um, she really was very lucky that to be able to get wow. that thing out when she, when she did, the tumor. Uh, she's going to go through radiation and so forth. But that's how quickly we can respond to these types of things. Um, it's a curse in the sense that we're not receiving any of those monies from the federal or state. So again, along with those, those monies, sometimes comes um, certain things and, and a little bit more red tape that you have to go through from time to time. Right. So again, it's, it's, one of the, it's one of the things that so we really... Someone can call the Circle of Hope office and sign up to do $10 a month via credit card. Absolutely. $10 a month, guys, trust me, you won't even notice it coming out of your checking account. Right, right. <laughs> it's yeah. $10 a month. It's, it's, it, it's easy. It really is. And, and again, we really want to in, embrace the entire community on this because uh, again, we are expanding our services. We're going to expand it to all the different cancers out here that uh, that really need um, attention. And uh, obviously, with that, you know, the the money gets has to get bigger and bigger. So, anyway, we're very excited about that. Come get your your pin, and uh, and please come and, and see us uh, at the Vine to Wine. Yep. Everybody, there's a bottle of Lucy here. I'll just kind of hang that up. Uh, Pizzoni Vineyards is uh, doing um, a, uh, a giveaway. So everybody that walks out of our event will receive this very bottle. That's uh, a 2012 Pizzoni uh, uh, Rosé and uh, Pinot Rosé, and it's delicious. I've had a few, few bottles um, of this <laughs> just to make That's sure it's okay. I'm, I'm, I, all I am is I'm testing <laughs> it. I'm all testing the name it. science. That's is exactly just, right. Exactly. So yeah, good for you. Uh, it'll be and a fun evening. And that was just evening. on Saturday. And that's just, that's yeah, right. That's <laughs> right. It'll be a fun evening. But, Great. Uh, so, okay, so Vine to Wine, August 17th, California Institute of the Arts, wonderful venue. Ray Tippett, thank tickets. you. Tickets. Tickets. You got to find out where you get the tickets, right? Tammy. Tammy. <laughs> buy, buy the tickets from Tammy. Or you can always get them online at www.circleofhopeinc.org. You can call our office at 661-245-5218. And uh, we'd love to have you there. We, I think it's going to be a great evening. It will have a lot of fun, great Look entertainment. Ray just taking control. So, right. I like it. You, why don't you just take us out? No, I'm, no, I'm no. done. And, and thank you so much, uh, <laughs> No, I'm not going to I'm going. <laughs> We're just guests. Yeah. But hey, thanks for coming today, guys. Yeah, you I really appreciate yeah, it. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Who's next on the Pope Coming Pope up, uh, I believe it's Chuck Norris <laughs> is going to be exactly. uh, on his <laughs> way up with the, with the wall. So we're very excited about that because... Uh, Take us out, Pope. Right. I just took you out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, Circle of Hope was there. To help me with the doctor bills, with the medication costs. With the emotional support I needed to help me through it all. Circle of Hope supported me through my fight. With gracious hearts and complete gratitude. As Santa Clarita's only nonprofit breast cancer organization, Circle of Hope provides financial, emotional, and educational assistance to breast cancer patients who live, work, or receive treatment here in Santa Clarita Valley. 100% of your financial contribution will stay right here in the SCV. With your support, Circle of Hope is making a difference today for a brighter future tomorrow.
At Nissan of Valencia, we take pride in supporting Santa Clarita schools and their dedicated students. Whether it's giving away free cars, providing academic scholarships, or supporting local sports teams, we want students to know hard work pays off. Hi, I'm Dan Sturkle, General Manager of Nissan Valencia, home to the $99 down delivery. For the vehicle you want at the lowest price in town, come on down to Nissan of Valencia, where our number one in customer service professionals will treat you with honesty and respect. Welcome back to SCV Today, and uh, we're going to bring in, and let's just go ahead and bring in Chuck Morris, uh, Korean War veteran. Korean War veteran. And we're here right. to talk about the Vietnam <clears throat> Memorial that's going to be coming to Santa Clarita in September. And and I, I know, we were talking about this in the green room right. earlier, Chuck, that I, I went to Washington, D.C. My parents used to live outside of Washington, D.C. My dad is a World War II and Korean War veteran. And uh, we went to the wall. It is one of the most powerful moments because I distinctly remember the Vietnam War. I'm of age where I, I was a little right. kid when the war was going on, but I, I distinctly remember everything that was going on. And even though I, the names didn't register directly with me, there was still a, a very powerful emotion that I it felt is. when yeah. I when I went to that wall. And, and unlike you, I have never been to the wall. Hmm. I've never seen it. I've talked to many people who have, such as you, and the experiences are just unbelievable. Believable when they have these experiences and the emotions that they go through when going to the wall. I had, if you'd like, uh, I, I had, I'm the commander of uh, my veterans club in Friendly Valley. It's a retirement community here in Santa Clarita. And every Memorial Day, uh, we do a parade in Friendly Valley. As a matter of fact, uh, Austin has always yeah. taped them the last three times, as a matter mm -hmm. of fact. And um, then we do a, uh, a memorial service. I had heard of a moving uh, Vietnam Wall that was located in um, Lancaster. Mm -hmm. I thought, wow, what a great idea. I'll get a truck, I'll get this wall, I'll tow it back up the freeway, and we'll have it in our Memorial Day parade. Okay. Called them up, told them what I wanted to do, First thing he said was, um, you have to reserve it six months in advance. I said, okay, well, I'll do it next year. Second thing he said was, do you realize that the wall that we have is 200 feet long? <laughs> I'm thinking, oh my goodness. I, I had thought it was a small thing like you put in the rose parade or something like that right. that you can tow behind a truck. Well, obviously that didn't work for what I wanted to do, but I started thinking about a wall, and I know that there are moving walls throughout the United States, so I started to investigate because I wanted to do something for Vietnam veterans. The Vietnam veterans fought in a war that was not a very popular war. And people hated these poor kids, and they were kids, 18, 19, 20 year olds. Those are the kids that fought those battles. Those 58,238 names that are on that wall are all kids. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And the way they were treated was deplorable. So I wanted to do something for our veterans. For the, and again, like I say, I'm a Korean veteran, but I wanted to do something for the Vietnam veterans. So I investigated and found the wall that we are bringing here. And it is a wall that is uh, by a group called the American Veterans Traveling Tribute. They're based in Flint, Texas. Uh, the wall itself is 80% the size of the one in Washington. It is 360 feet long. It oh, is wow. eight feet tall. There are 72 panels, each panel five foot wide. There are 36 east panels and 36 west panels, just like in, in Washington. And I felt that we needed to do this in, in, in our community. So I had gone to, at the time, uh, Bob Keller, who I've known for a long time, who was a councilman, told him the idea that I had, and the first thing he said was, I'm in. And I figured, okay, when those Bob says- Those are great says, words. Those are, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, like, yes. yeah, right, yeah, that's exactly- <laughs> I've been there, yeah. I know exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right, I figured, oh, this is great. <laughs> now, we needed to have a place to put this, okay? It cost $6,000, by the way to get it here for the four days. Mm -hmm. 
We had a meeting at City Hall with then Frank Ferry, the, the mayor, uh, then Ken Polskamp, the city manager, Rick Gould, and various members of the, of the uh, council. And they wanted to have it at, at Central Park. I thought that would be a great place to put the wall. And I'm thinking, wait a second. Central Park is gorgeous. There's no, there's no doubt about that. But parking is not very good. Lighting is not very good. And I'm thinking there are going to be thousands and thousands of people that will come to Santa Clarita to see this event and to see what a beautiful city we really and truly have. Now, I'm not trying to belittle any part of our city, but if you drive up Bouquet Canyon to Central Park, it's not very pretty. <laughs> But if you drive down Magic Mountain Parkway, it is really, it is very pretty, okay? Chuck, so, I love you. You are, you are great. <laughs> so I had, like <laughs> Gosh. I had an idea, and I went to the marketing manager of the mall, mm -hmm. and I gave her a proposal. Stacey I said, House. I have... I think it wasn't Stacy House. Oh, no, it was, it was Jenna. Jenna, oh, okay. yeah. Right. But now Stacy House. Yeah, now Stacy House. And I went to Jenna and I said, look, I have an idea. This will bring thousands and thousands of people to your mall that will spend thousands and thousands of dollars in your mall and it won't cost you a penny. And she looked at me like it was a nutcake. <laughs> because if you come up with some kind of a proposal like that to anybody, they're going to think the same thing. Told her what I wanted to do and she says, pick a spot. We're in. And so that started the ball rolling, really. And then we started uh, uh, getting sponsors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have unbelievable amount of sponsors now. Uh, the uh, Southern California Gas Company is our, uh, is our title sponsor, mm -hmm. Habitat for Humanity, uh, the KHTS Radio. Uh, I can just go on and on about all, all the sponsors that we have. But one of the most important things that we're going to do with this wall, and by the way, the wall will be open 24 hours a day. Okay. It is on the corner of Citrus and Magic Mountain Parkway. And so what in are the, the parking what, lot, right? In the what parking are the dates? lot, right. The dates are February, uh, February, September 26th through the 29th, the last weekend of the month, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The, the wall actually, in fact, will arrive here on Wednesday, the 25th. Uh, it then sits in the, sp in the site until uh, the following morning, Thursday morning. It will then be assembled uh, Thursday morning, and it will be assembled by, I've made arrangements with UPS, and UPS drivers are going to assemble this wall, wow. and then they will disassemble it on Sunday evening. And I'll tell you another thing about the wall and the panels and such. But the thing that we feel or we felt in, in, in our committees was this is something that kids need to know about. Right. They do not teach anything about Vietnam hmm. in any school. I don't care what grade you're in, from, from grammar school to, uh, to a senior in high school, there's nothing that is taught about Vietnam. And we feel that these kids need to know the sacrifices that were made during this war so they can have the things that they have today. So we had known of a reading project uh, through our library systems. We have six libraries in Santa Clarita. We have three county and three city libraries. And there has been a reading program uh, with about 2,000 fourth, fifth, and sixth graders that has been going on for two or three years now. Mm -hmm. And with the help of Gail Ortiz from the city, uh, we put together a program that, we're, that started already at the beginning of this month, a uh, essay contest. The essay contest is going to be for these fourth, fifth, and sixth graders titled, What Did the Vietnam War Mean to the United States of America? Mm -hmm. And of course, they don't know. They have right. no idea. But they're going to have to research it in the libraries. And the librarians are all on board to help right. with this. And what uh, is the, the time reason. frame for this essay? All the whole month of of, uh, of August. Of It'll August, end okay. the second of September. So I'll put that information on the website right below this um, 
this episode. Um, I want to talk about the dates again that the wall's okay. going to be here because we're, we're running out of time. Okay. So we're going to be here September. September 26th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th. 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. And the names are going to be read. All 58,238 names will be read 24 hours a day, yes. And we will have a program each and every evening uh, for the four evenings. Uh, we will have Buck McKeon is going to be speaking, Scott Wilk will be speaking, Steve Knight will be speaking, Michael Antonovich will be speaking. Uh, we have on opening night, we have the Condor Squadron that will be doing a flyover. Mm. We've got the fire department that's going to be doing an honor guard with bagpipes. Uh, it's going to be... Is there a website or somewhere where people can get the yes. information of when everything happens? Right. It's scvtvvietnamwall.com or scvvietnamwall.com, both. Okay, we'll have both right, of those right, on, right. On, on the website. Right. And they can just go on the, plus they can volunteer also, because uh, we do need volunteers uh, for this event. And uh, even the signal has a, uh, a set, a, uh, the signal.com uh, Vietnam wall, uh, a sign up for uh, uh, volunteers also. Wonderful. So we have Wonderful. a lot of, uh, of that going, and we do need because 24 hours a day, you know, right. going to need a lot of volunteers. Okay, well, Chuck, undoubtedly you're the hardest working man in Santa Clarita. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you for having done. me here, and thank you for getting yeah. the word out. We really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's going right. to be a big event. Looking forward to being be a, part of it. It's going to be a tremendous yeah. event. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Chuck. Thank you again. When we come back, Chakaya Misamu is going to be on the program. He's got the $30,000 challenge. $30,000 challenge. We're going to talk about this when we come back. Antwerp, Belgium, the diamond capital of the world. To assure the highest quality diamonds at the best possible prices, Classic Designs Jewelry travels to Antwerp to buy directly from the diamond cutter. Hi, I am Apoy Sayan from Classic Designs Jewelry. Belgians have cut diamonds for centuries. That's why the finest diamonds come from Antwerp. For the perfect diamond at the perfect price, come to Classic Designs Jewelry in Valencia. At Stevenson Ranch Car Wash, we'll hand wash your car with fast and friendly service. Open seven days a week, come in early for our happy hour special starting at $9.99 or take $3 off any regular package. We'll make your car look like new with services that include buffing, waxing, and complete auto and boat detail. Ask about our unlimited monthly pass or value book at Stevenson Ranch Car Wash on Pico Canyon Road. Stevenson Ranch Car Wash on Pico Canyon Road near the Old Road. Welcome back to SCV Today. The energy level uh, in the house is amazing right now. And, and I have said it many times before that there, is, there, is, there are many men who have, have motivated me, inspired me, but there is truly no one like Chikaya Misamu. Yes, 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 you, thank you. And, and, I'm, and I'm serious about this. You are, here's the thing about Chikaya. He gets people in shape. He, he has people lose weight. He has people who ha whose lives are turned around and changed forever. But it's, it's the words that come out of his mouth and how he does it that absolutely inspires and motivates people. And that's, uh, that's you, my man. It's great. It's great to be back here on the show. And Tammy, you're always looking beautiful. And Thank you. What else? You know, America is, the, <laughs> America is the greatest country on the planet. And I always say sleeps for broke people. And um, when I came to this country, my first day in, my first day in America was a janitor. Hmm. A man gave me a broom. He said, if you want it bad, you have to start cleaning. And I start cleaning, hey, a couple years later, I still own the, uh, I own the gym now. Yeah. Uh, and um, now we're going for $30,000 fitness challenge. Wait, what was that? How much? $30,000! <laughs> and guess what? I got my spark. You got your spark yeah. on, don't you? Hey. And, and you know what? Let's talk about that just real quick, because I know we're here to talk about the $30,000 challenge. But you are now uh, working with AdvoCare. That's correct. And you were telling me that you had never been involved with a supplement company before during the time that you've had your gym. What was it that turned you around with, with this and why? I never believed in supplements until I found AdvoCare. Uh, let me tell you, it works. Okay, and um, I don't know if I can say it, but this is better than Viagra. Okay, when you take this, <laughs> wow. Your energy is up, it's up there. Excuse me, I got <laughs> Jason Edwards, I'm on my way home. 
You know, and um, he doesn't need it. And <laughs> wizard, wizard don't lie. And this is this is a real, uh, this is real. I love it every morning. You know, everybody already know I'm already high in the energy. <laughs> but right. when I when I take the spark, oh well. Uh, I own the whole country now. <laughs> you know, for thirty thousand. So tell uh, us about the the fitness challenge. Thirty thousand dollars. The fitness challenge this time is um the first time was twenty thousand dollars. Was a team men. Uh, was was a two men. Uh, team. Now we go for three men team. Okay. Okay. For one ninety nine only. You're gonna have ninety days. Okay. You and your teammate to uh, lose fat, build muscle, mm -hmm. and take advantage of all the uh, uh, workouts that we're gonna put in place. All the events. Mm -hmm. The team that will have have the the, the highest point basically gonna share thirty thousand dollars. Okay. The, the the challenge is gonna begin on September 9th, Gonna end up on December eighth. So nobody won't go in December be broke because we know thirty thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars each. Hey, you don't have to tell the IRS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One ninety nine each person. That's correct. So, okay. so the team got to bring it uh, about six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ninety days, no contract. Get ready to be, get beat up by black men. Now, how, <laughs> <laughs> now it's not just how much weight you lose because the, you've got a different kind of system yeah. that you determine. Who the winners would be? Can you explain that a little bit? It's a fitness challenge, so we take advantage. Uh, we take in consideration is a point system. You lose fat, you get point for that. You will get more point for gaining muscles. You get point for attending classes, and you get also point for attending our, our weekend events. So our weekend events consider we're going to be doing some uh, workout at the beach, in the mountain, at the swimming pool, uh, biking, riding. Everything out there. So I'm basically going to copy and paste what the military taught us. The Marines, you know we're the best on the planet. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put it in place and put the civilians out there and teach them how, uh, what it takes to become a warrior. Because mm -hmm. each one of us are warriors. You know, but we, we need to train them and spark them to become warriors. Mm -hmm. Tell us about a couple success stories from, from last challenge. From someone that was like didn't even want to walk in the door to being at the top. You know, um, the Warrior Fitness Camp is very intimidating. When you walk into the doors, you, you can be scared. A lot of people, when they come in, they found they were lost. But when they come in, they found a group of people that embrace them. That's number one. We really take care of, take care of our warriors. And uh, some of those people, they never believe that one day they can achieve greatness. One month during the challenge, they, saw, they found themselves, they discovered themselves. And two months, they confirm, hey, this is the place I need to be. The third month was a home run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they lost about, the average person lost about 50 pounds. There, in days. Your, your Warrior Fitness has absolutely, it, is, it has revolutionized people in Santa Clarita. I mean, the pictures you post when you go onto Facebook every day right. of your classes, which is literally, there is, it, there is no room on the floor. There you have no. so many people that are there what is it that people love about Warrior Fitness, and why is it that so many people want to be a part of it? Now, uh, number one, the Warrior Fitness, but well, some people call us a cult. We're not. A cult? A cult. <laughs> so we, are, we really care. It's a family environment. We really care about our customers, and we keep it real. Because life is what you make of. When people come to Warrior Fitness and they see results, they were lost. You know, they live in darkness and they find lightness. When they go outside, they say, you know what, I'm a warrior. I can walk in a, in a dark alley. I know I can take care of myself. I can stand up in the front of people. I can talk because I believe in myself. It's all about results. We don't lie. We run the largest book camp facility in Southern California. And I'm a black man. <laughs> so if I can do it, anybody else can do it. But most important is we care about our customer and they see results. It's all about results. Now we're moving to a bigger facility now and we're right. having a TV show coming nice. up soon. That's right, that's right. You've got a TV show. Talk a little bit about the TV show that you've got. The TV show will, it's all about what goes on in our lives. How a person that uh, never believed in himself can now believe in himself. How, how we can bring marriage back together. How we can enforce education how can we make people uh, see the light, the bigger picture, okay? It's all about overcoming obstacles.
because each one of us have demons inside of us, but we want to bring it out. Okay, we talk about communication, about teamwork, about once again believing in what this country have done for me, have done for other people, will do for other people again. So that's that's what a TV show going to be about. So it's going it's a reality show. It's a reality show. Have you TV cast show. this reality show yet? Yes, we did. Have you announced it yet? I not think, yet, I but think I we... know someone that could be on there, but I'm not going to be. Bjorkman is in there. Yes, Bjorkman <laughs> is on there. Yes. Boom, boom, Bjorkman is in there. Boom, and then boom, we're we going to have some, some fun. It's all about putting Santa Clara to the map. Okay, you got to remember uh, this, this great city, this away some time, never, nobody knows about this place. Mm -hmm. but once again, the Warrior Fin is going to bring Santa Clarita you know, in the map. We'll be in Hollywood in Santa Clarita. All right, so All one right. more time. What's going on? What's, what's going to start on September 9th here, uh, Chikaya? The Warrior Fitness 30,000 oh! challenge. <laughs> 199, you know it. Invest, get a small profit. Guess what, baby? Live longer. Life is good. We love America. I'm from the Congo, baby. Don't hate. We love you. <laughs> Jakaya Misamu, and uh, when we come back on the program, we have the two newest members of Warrior Fitness that are going to be on the show. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Bill Miranda and Gloria Mercado Fortine, and they are guaranteeing that they're going to win how much? Thirty thousand. Exactly right. So stay tuned. Good. The Donut Inn on Soledad Canyon Road has a new name, California Bakery and Cafe. You still get the donuts, hot chocolate and fresh squeezed juices, the sandwiches, croissants and our famous tamales. But you'll also get cakes for parties, celebrations and major events. Our unique bread baskets offer a one of a kind gift, all with the personal service you have come to expect for the last 35 years. Get a cup of coffee and a Danish 24 hours a day, California Bakery and Cafe. Living without glasses has been wonderful. I've noticed right away, right when I, next couple of days, the sky seemed bluer. I had the procedure because my husband came to Dr. Helm for cataract surgery and he was really pleased with the results. I was looking for somebody that had a reputation, um, somebody locally. Through the whole procedure, he talked to me through it and told me exactly what was happening and what he was doing, and he just has excellent bedside manner. If you're thinking about having laser vision correction, let me help you decide if it's right for you. We at Helm Vision Group believe in personal care and quality results. Come and see the difference. For the best laser vision correction technology, Helm Vision Group on Turney Road in Valencia. Welcome back to SCV Today. This community is one of the most involved communities. We talk about it all the time. There are hundreds of people that are going to do the $30,000 challenge. Mm -hmm. And throwing the gauntlet down to even go beyond that is Bill Miranda <laughs> and Gloria Mercado Fortine. We're offering $40,000. <laughs> and Monopoly money. Yes, exactly. <laughs> of course, don't forget that part. That's the gala challenge. Is but that you know, what it we're, is? We're going to join the challenge. Yeah. Are you? Oh, we are going to join the challenge. We're going to have a team. Not that we need to. No. Right. But we're going to do it. Yeah. Just for the really? challenge. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> and and That's fantastic. Let me do this. Ed, could you go in on Gloria's face here so we can all have our have our moment of seeing the most beautiful smile in Santa Clarita? Just to uh, just to capture that moment and just everybody go. <sighs> <sighs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Nick is now in love with Gloria. Exactly. And no longer Tammy. Wow. He's moving on. <laughs> no, Nick well, can multiprocess. Multiprocess. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting that. <laughs> He's a man. He only has one thing he can deal with on his mind at any time. Come on, Bill. We all know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. right let's, we're going to go. Whoop. Bill Miranda, Gloria Mercado Fortine, they are here because you were going to talk about the third annual. Santa Clarita Valley Latino, Latino Chamber of Commerce Gala. That's the say way it. we say it. Say you it, can say, say I can say gala. You can I'll say, say gala. gala. You say tomato. I yep. say tomato. Yep. Tomato. I say Bill tomato. Miranda, and I say Gloria Mercado four times. There you go. Let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the Hyatt instead. Let's, yes. Let's yeah, we're going to be we're going to be at the Hyatt. Regency Valencia on September 27th, which is a Friday night starting at 6 p.m. with a VIP cocktail hour. 
outside the Grand Ballroom, and then we're going to let everybody inside the Grand Ballroom, where we're going to have a fantastic annual awards gala. <laughs> and we will, at the gala, uh, recognize uh, uh, various Latino businesses um, and uh, uh, for their contributions. Um, so, so not only do we will have a wonderful gala, but it, it, it is also to recognize a lot of our businesses. Mm -hmm. But the theme of the night, I believe, is to mm -hmm. celebrate diversity here in Santa Clarita Valley. That is we right. have a very diverse community. Tell us a little bit about the theme and, and who should be coming to this and why people would want to come to, come to the gala. Well, we want everybody to come to the gala, but uh, Santa Clarita is a, a wonderfully diverse uh, community, and, uh, and and our diversity is, is demonstrated everywhere, and um, so we want to come together. Uh, we're not in competition with other chambers, our other wonderful Santa Clarita Chamber of Commerce, which does a fabulous job, but we want to work with them, and we want to work with VIA, and we want to work together. Um, but we really want to reach out. And there are certain needs that, that um, our businesses, our Latino businesses have, and we want to be able to be there to support them. But we want to draw everyone to it. And another very important thing uh, for us is developing future leaders uh, and getting them involved. Uh, so that's a big, uh, big focus for us. Absolutely. Part of our mission is not only to uh, support Latino businesses, but to support the community. We want to be part of our community, we want to help our community, and we want to find the future leaders of our community and help them develop. Well, speaking of future leaders, there is a scholarship given out that night, correct? There will, we will be raising funds for scholarships, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that is something that uh, we're building it up, so over the next few years we will be able to give uh, many okay. scholarships, uh, actually, to, and hopefully to every high school. So, um, and again, we will add as our component, uh, an educational component, uh, where we will be working with our youth to develop them. Why is this so important for, to, to work with the youth of Latino yes. background? Why, why is it so important? Well, we because for, for, for us, mm -hmm. we don't know. I, yes, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't faced that. So tell us why it's important. In you know, I think that, that uh, a lot of people would be very surprised um, to really see how many Latino businesses are out here and, the, and that it is growing. It is a huge Latino market if you look at it statewide and nationally. Um, so, and, and a lot of our youth don't think that they can, you know, uh, open their own businesses. You know, it, it, it is. It's, it's, it's a bit uh, uh, well, you frightening. Have a, you have a personal story so, to go it, along with exactly. that. Exactly. You know, because you just don't know how to do it. And, um, and so we want to encourage that. We really want to encourage that. And because it's such a large segment of our population and growing, um, and, and, and it just adds uh, so much, I think it, it just adds to the richness and the fabric of our, of our community. Yeah, if I may, Tammy, also uh, keep in mind that in the Latino community, we have the highest dropout rate from the high schools. So we need to help those Latinos know and understand. You don't have to drop out. You don't have to go get a job until you're ready. First get an education, get a skill. Then you can go out and get a job. Then you can get a, go out and get a meaningful job. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to do with the young people, with the young Latinos especially. We have the highest dropout rate. Why, why is that? Why, why is it that the Latino population has the highest dropout rate? Because I'm, we've been talking for so long in this country about the power of education and that you get yourself educated, you move on. You two, great examples. Us two, great examples. You get yourself an education, you get to do things that you would never even think that you could possibly do. Mm -hmm. But let me just say, and I wrote a book about this and you had me on yeah. the show. Profiles of Latino Courage. Profiles of Latino Courage. Many Latinos feel because their skin is dark, because their, their accent is profound, because they didn't grow up in this country and they don't know all the cultural give me's and take me's or whatever's. Mm -hmm. uh, they just don't, they, they have, remember what I talked about, I talked about lose the baggage and the baggage makers. We carry a lot of baggage with us. Mm -hmm. Rightly or wrongly, it doesn't matter, we carry a lot of baggage with us. And many Latino youth, even today, which is, which is dramatically terrible. Even today, many Latino youth are saying, I can't make it in the white man's world. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, because for whatever, like, as I said, they got, they got it's, a lot it's of It's just that. something that they're, they're, that's in their minds for whatever reason. And right, and so we have to show them people like Gloria McCarter for time, okay? Who, by the way, is running for city council? And she is. Going to be a great. <laughs> she's going to be a great contribution to our city. Okay, so we have to put up our role models. Right. We have them. We Absolutely. just have to show them, and we have to Absolutely. put them up. And our role models, such as Gloria is doing, has to give people a hand up. Okay, so let me let me because I if I'm naive, I'm naive, and I'll, I always admit that. Is is the Latino community being uh, suppressed racially? Or is that just something that is within their own mind that they're feeling that they aren't worthy or whatever the, the, the wording would be? What? Well, I, I would say that there is a disconnect. That there is a disconnect and, and uh, for our students, and I'll speak, speak with, with youth. Um, and there's, there's a disconnect uh, oftentimes because um, it, often our students are not, are not being able to compete academically. And so they fall further and further behind, and 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 so uh, and then they feel that certainly things are not within their reach, um, and and so there's a lot of factors. You know, there's a lot of home factors, socioeconomic factors. Um, there's just a lot of factors that we want to say, no matter what, because we've all had our hardships. You know, you can do it. You can do it, and you can open up those doors, but. The way to open up those doors is through education, and and that goes back to the the dropout rate. So we have to address that, and we have to be able to, which I think have wonderful role models, you know. And and that's been slow in coming in the schools, you know. Just just think about you know when you were in school, and to have certain role models. And so we we as a as certainly as a heart district is trying to address that, but we've been trying to address it for years. So so the kids need to be shown that. You know, if they can do it, we can do it. And, um, but, but that's, you know, and sometimes, oftentimes, they do hold themselves back because it's like they don't have the confidence. They, they, they just feel so overwhelmed. Um, and, uh, and of course, you know, economics is a big issue. Can I just go to college? You know, can, and we can show them, well, you know, get good grades. And you know you can transition right into community college and then go on mm -hmm. from there. Mm -hmm. But there are ways and money. There's always ways to to find the funds, the right. the money to go on. And Santa Carita, you can help um, them with this cause um, by supporting the SCV Latino Chamber of Commerce. And I'll put the information on the website how you can get tickets for the gala, which is going to be a fantastic evening. Did, did we just change? Did we? Are we all now in in the? Everybody's calling it gala now. It's no yes. longer a gala. No, it's a gala. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's officially, it's officially it's now a gala. gala. All right. Bill Miranda, Gloria Mercado Fortine, fabulous work that you're both doing in our community. And thank you so much. And thanks for being with us here today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. And thank you for sharing a part of your day with us. We hope you have a good rest of your day.